hey friends today in this video i am going to tell you about hplc column what is hplc column and how many types of hplc column so let's start columns are the main component in hplc because the column is responsible for the separation of sample component the sample passes through the column with the mobile phase and separates in it component when it come out from the column generally silica gel is filled in the high performance liquid chromatography column because of it particle size and porosity that help in separation of component and silica gel is also an inert material that does not react with mobile phase therefore silica columns can be used to analyze the compound of different chemical nature the material field in the hplc column is known as stationary phase there are different type of chromatography column on the basis of their composition and method of separation there are four types of column number one normal phase column number two reverse phase columns number three ion exchange columns or number four size exclusion columns number one normal phase hplc columns this type of columns has more polar stationary phase than the mobile phase the packing material of the column should be more polar than the mobile phase and this condition is fulfilled by the silica that is polar material but water is more polar than the silica therefore water is not used and methylene chloride hexane and chloroform or a mixture of these with diethyl ether is used as mobile phase separation of the sample components occur on the basis of polarity of sample components sample components having more polarity interact more with polar stationary phase resulting in separation from the less polar component that interact with less polar mobile phase silica columns are widely used in the pharmaceutical analysis the chromatography column packing in which normal phase column are used in known as normal phase chromatography number two reverse phase hplc columns in reverse phase columns as its name state it is reverse of the normal phase column it has in normal polar or less polar stationary phase than he more polar mobile phase bonded hydrocarbon like c8 and c18 and other non-polar hydrocarbon are used as stationary phase in reverse phase column while aqueous organic solvent like water methanol or water acetonitrile mixture is used as mobile phase separation of sample component in reverse phase columns also occur on the basis of polarity of the sample component but it happened just opposite of the normal phase hplc columns therefore this type of chromatography is known as reverse phase chromatography number three ion exchange hplc columns the compounds those can easily ionize are analyzed using these columns stationary phase in these columns remains acidic or basic having negative or positive charge while mobile phase is polar liquid as the salt solution in water separation of molecule occur on the basis of the attractive ionic force between molecules and the charge stationary phase due to the exchange of ion during the separation of sample component it is known as ion exchange chromatography number four and last size exclusion hplc column porous stationary phase in these columns allow the separation of component according to their size combination of polymer like polysaccharides and silica is used as stationary phase in these columns a small sample molecule penetrate in the pores of stationary phase while the large molecule penetrate parties partially into the pores therefore the large molecule of sample elute first than the small molecule and this chromatography is called size exclusion chromatography 
these columns are generally not used in the analysis of pharmaceutical compound